Today, I will be showing you how to find the stress concentration factor for a spherical pressure vessel with a flush nozzle. This is the spherical pressure vessel we will be analysing today. It has an internal pressure of 50 megapascals. The radius of the nozzle is 12 millimetres. The mean radius of the sphere is 62.5 millimetres. The thickness of the nozzle is 4 millimetres and the thickness of the sphere is 5 millimetres. To work out the stress concentration factor, we first need to work out this new parameter rho, which uses the radius of the nozzle, radius of the sphere, and thickness of the sphere. When we plug in the numbers, we get 0 0.679. Then we also need to work out the thickness of the nozzle over the thickness of the sphere, which is 0 0.8. Then we use this figure from PD5500, which is a specification for unfired fusion welded pressure vessels from the British Standards Institution. So our T over big T gives 0 0.8, and then our row value is 0 0.679. So we simply get a stress concentration factor of 2.12. So this is how you get a stress concentration factor for a sphere with internal pressure and a flush nozzle using analytical graphs. I will now show you how to do this with ANSYS. First, in Workbench, you do a 2D analysis type. Then you simply sketch a 2D axis symmetrical model of the geometry we are using here. So you can see that these are the numbers plugged in here. It's quite simple to make. And then you just create a surface sketch. Then in mechanical, on geometry, go axisymmetric for 2D behavior. Simple structural steel for material. And then I included a symmetry, so you can see half of the spherical pressure vessel. This is simply done with 19 repeats of a 2D axisymmetrical model with 10 degrees. The mesh is simply done with a face size of 1 millimeter, And then vertex sizing with a sphere of influence of one millimeter with an element size of 0 0.1 millimeters. This gives a very dense mesh around this tight edge here, which is where the highest stress concentration is gonna be found, which is important for later. So you get a good mesh here and a very dense mesh here. Then we'll simply add an internal pressure of 50 megapascals and then you have to add a pressure here which goes opposite to the internal pressure it's simply done by the inside of the nozzle compared to the actual nozzle material so since the opening here is slightly bigger than the actual nozzle surface then the pressure you have to apply to balance it will be slightly bigger and then simply a fixed support here to hold the structure together. So when the pressure is applied, it deflects instead of moving in free air. We then simply solve with an equivalent stress. And these are the results. We start by working out the hoop stress, which is simply the internal pressure times the mean radius divided by 2 times the thickness of the sphere, so 312.5 megapascals, and we use the probe, and as you can see, we've got 342.96, which is very, very similar to the average hoop stress calculated. As you can see in the middle, it's basically exactly the same. We can then work out the stress concentration factor that ANSYS computes 
by doing the max stress divided by the hoop stress. So the hoop stress is that 343, and then the max stress is 689, which as we assumed is found here, right at this vertex, which is why it's more dense, so you can actually work out the exact value here. So when you do the max over the hoop stress, you get 2.01. This compares well with the stress concentration factor found from analytical graphs. There's around a 5% difference, which is due to the difference between analytical results and computed results from ANSYS.